Oh, hello! My name is Mara, and welcome to Books Like Whoa. So guys, this is this is it for Project Poirot. Um, I am wrapping things up with my final uh, recommendations on where you should start with Poirot, uh, based on having done an entire reread of the whole of the Poirot oeuvre. So I have read all the books. I've read most of the short stories. I'm sure I've missed a few here and there, but like most of them. And yeah, based on all of that, I wanted to tell you guys um, a few places I think you can start. Now, caveats here. One, I have not read uh, Curtain as of this filming, but like Curtain is literally the last book and I'm not going to recommend that you start there, regardless of if I think it is the best Poirot novel ever written, which I don't think I will based on what I've heard. Anyway, um, there's that. Uh, I will caveat that. Um, the second thing is when I was looking at where I thought people should start, I wanted to give people some options because I think that part of having success with an author is going in with some knowledge of like what already works for you and then aligning um, what you enjoy with what the author has to offer. So what I wanted to do was give you, I think I have six, uh, three book combos. So six different little three book sequences that I think would be good places for people to start. And I'll kind of tell you my thought process behind each of those six recommendations. So um, without further ado, let's get into where I think you should start with the Hercule Poirot novels by Agatha Christie. Okay. So the first two are not that exciting. So let's start with this. Um, so the first thing I would say is that having done the reread, I think that if you are somebody who enjoys starting at the beginning of a series and working your way through chronologically, which is what I have just done, the first three Poirot novels will give you a very good sense of the types of books that you might get from Agatha Christie, because the first three books you have are The Mysterious Affair at Styles. Uh, Murder on the Links and Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Those are three very solid Christie's. One of them is arguably the best thing she wrote in terms of like what the scholarship says, which is the murder of Roger Ackroyd. It also has a major like literary innovation in it or literary popularization of something in it. So with that being said, I think you could do a lot worse than just to read the first three um, Poirot novels as they are in chronological order. So that would be my first series. The next thing I'm of course going to recommend are from this reread what I now would say are my three favorite Poirot novels. Um, and that's an entirely biased opinion. But um, I think that these three if these are if you read these three books, you essentially, in my opinion, have read most of the best things she ever wrote. So those are my first would be cards on the table. That is my favorite Christie at this point. Um, the second would be Murder on the Orient Express, and the third would be Death on the Nile. So these are three of her very, very best books. So like if you want to get off on a good first first foot with her, these are three great places to go. I have also listened to the audio, by the way, of all three of these, and I think all three of these are very well done on audio. Um, I believe Hugh Frazier is the, the narrator that I've listened to for all three of them. And side note, when it comes to audio and Poirot, I don't really think you get better than Hugh Frazier, at least in English. That's just my opinion, but I think he does a really nice job of doing... Um, voices enough, but not to a point where it's annoying. And um, he just has a really nice uh, narrating style. He plays uh, Hastings in the Suchet adaptations, I believe. Um, anyway, that's a little side note for the audio. But yes, I have read all three of these. I have listened to all three of these on audio. I think this would be a really like solid place for you to get started in your Poirot journey. Okay, and then moving into a slightly different uh, sequence. If you want to read the three most famous Poirot novels, I would say that those three would be Murder of Roger Ackroyd, first of all, and then um, uh, Murder on the Orient Express and Death on the Nile. I think these are probably the three most famous ones. Death on the Nile, maybe not. The th I think unquestionably the two most famous Poirots are Murder on the Orient Express and um, the murder of Roger Ackroyd. The third slot, you could probably have some debate, but I'm just going to say Death on the Nile because I it is one that you see mentioned a lot. Um, but I think those would also be like, that's if you want to just kind of go with the ones that are best known, I think that would be a good place to go to. My fourth recommendation are for people who love short stories. And this is me. So my favorite thing to read from Agatha Christie, to be honest with you, are her short stories. Like, I wish there were more. There are already a lot, but I wish there were more. Um, and she wrote a lot of Poirot short stories that are of 
excellent quality. So if um, you are open to short stories or you really like short stories, um, the three that I would recommend is I would recommend you start with Murder and the Muse, which are novellas, not short stories, but they're still shorter works. Um, I think that is a fantastic collection. And honestly, um, I would say if you're somebody who is open to the idea, Murder and the Muse might be one of the best places you could start, period, with Paro, just because you'll get four stories that really give you a sense of the types of plot she does. Um, it will give you a sense of who Paro is as a character. There's a couple of her recurring um, characters that show up in those, uh, at least in the first one, if I remember correctly. And um, yeah, I just think that it's a really great grab bag of Christy that's a very high quality. Um, so if you're open to short, shorter works, Murder and the Muse might be a really great place for you to start um, followed by what is my second favorite book from her uh, and that is uh, Poirot Investigates that is a collection of her early short stories which are all Poirot and Hastings and Hastings is like Poirot's Watson so you get like you get to spend a lot of time with Hastings which is, is real fun for um, those of us who know and love this uh, series of books um, and they're just they're fun they're short they have clever mysteries she doesn't get bogged down in some things that sometimes I think distract from how good the actual plotting of her books are um, or from the actual how clever her actual mysteries are in some of her books. So I would just say I absolutely love Poirot Investigates. It's probably my second favorite thing from her. Um, so that would be my number two recommendation. And then number three, I would say The Labors of Hercules. Now, if you have been watching Project Poirot, you know that at the time I dogged on that book pretty hard. I think that was just a function of where I was in my reread. And actually, really, upon further reflection, it's a very, very good collection of short stories. It is thematically linked, which um, I know some people really enjoy enjoy that that linking didn't work as well for me this on this particular reread but I do think it is actually pretty well done and um, and she references the stories from that collection a lot in her later work so she clearly really I think enjoyed and had some fondness for some of those stories as well so that would be my suggestion if you're open to short stories start with Murder in the Muse then do Poirot Investigates and finish up with The Labors of Hercules and then my fifth grouping I'm gonna say is probably what I would like is probably my preferred and like my most strongly suggested where to start with Agatha Christie uh, Poirot novels. And that's just because I think if you read these three books, um, you will have a very clear idea of the different types of plots that she does. Um, and let me tell you why. So the first one is uh, Cards on the Table. There's some repetition in this list because I think that there's some clear winners and I'll get to that in a minute of where you should start. But Cards on the Table, to me, I think does a great job of representing what she does best, which is she really she doesn't excel at forensic mysteries in my opinion. She really excels at psychological mysteries where the primary clues don't come from like, oh, there was like this fingerprint or this blood stain. The primary clues come from the types of people involved and like what they based on their psychology are or are not likely to do. And I think that this is like the purest form of that in her work, which is because I enjoy that, that's probably why this is my favorite from her. Um, but I think that this is just a beautiful, um, like I said, installation of what she does really well, which is develop some characters, have a murder, and then let Poirot kind of reason out based on the type of people that they are, who done it. So um, this would be my first one in my variety pack recommendation. My second one would be After the Funeral by Agatha Christie. Now this is the latest book in her oeuvre, I think, that I'm recommending in this. Um, it's very clear from the reread that her, like the heyday of Poirot is in the 30s, and in the 40s-ish. Um, her earlier books tend to be better, but I think an exception to that rule is After the Funeral. I think that is an excellent Christie. I think I put it maybe like number five on my list, something like that. Um, and I think what it does really well is it's a great illustration of her having sort of like a grand house where there is murder happening um, and kind of talk like exploring themes of like inheritance and the aristocracy and um, genetic inherit inheritance is a big theme in her work. Um, so that definitely comes up. And I think that the solution to the murder is very satisfying. Like it's a book that feels very satisfying. It has interesting characters in it. It does have that sort of like grand house backdrop for quite a bit of it. Um, I, I think that that's a great kind of example of that type of book that she does. Something similar to maybe like the Mysterious Fair Styles or um, kind of Dead Man's Folly. Some of these like big house 
mysteries or Hercule Poirot's Christmas. Like all of those are sort of in that vein. And of those, I think after the funeral is probably the best one. So that would be number two. And then the third in the variety pack would be Murder on the Orient Express. And that is because I think this is a really great sort of like, there's um, some surprising plot elements in terms of like how she handles a very large cast um, and has some really like kind of crazy twists and stuff like I think she does that really well in this but it also gets into the fact that a lot of her books have what at the time was considered to be an exotic locale to it so um, I think that this uh, is a great example of that you know you'll see things like Death on the Nile and Murder in Mesopotamia like there's she has a lot of books that are not set um, in the UK and so this is also an example of that so I think if you that's probably my ultimate recommendation is to read Cards on the Table after the funeral and Murder on the Orient Express I think if you read those three books you're gonna have a really good sense of um, Poirot what he's about um, the only downside to that is that if you read those three you're not getting any Hastings and he is a delight but Hastings is not not in nearly as many books as we remember him being in. So that's my only drawback with that little um, set of three uh, that I would recommend. But honestly, I think that's probably ultimately what I would recommend in terms of where to start with Hercule Poirot novels. And then finally, just based on, uh, I was looking at those five that I'd made and I thought, okay, what are the ones that come up the most frequently? Obviously these three <laughs> that I keep talking about, Cards on the Table, Death on the Nile, Murder on the Orient Express, and then also Murder of Roger Ackroyd came up more than once. So if, if we're talking about just sheer like number of times in these combinations. Those are probably the four that I think um, are the easiest to recommend. So I don't know that I broke any crazy new ground with this video because I think there's a pretty good consensus on good places to start with Agatha Christie, but I wanted to give people a few different options based on what might work best for them. Like I said, I think if I had to tell you the three that I would start with would be Cards on the Table, After the Funeral, and Murder on the Orient Express, but any of the ones that I've mentioned in this video I think would be a great place to start. Um, and like I said, I don't think there's any shame in just going the old-fashioned way starting at the beginning and going from there. So yeah, like I said, this is my final Project Poirot video. Um, I haven't filmed my wrap-up yet, so I'm sure that's where I will do my emotionalness and everything, so I won't get into that here, but thank you so much to everybody who has uh, participated. I believe I will have already told you this, so I will just say again that Mission Marple will start in January. I believe on January 18th I will start reading A Murder at the Vicarage. So um, we're gonna take a, what, four-month break here and then come back to some Christie. But I've really enjoyed this. If you uh, have never seen any Project Poirot videos, if you've happened on this one, um, I have an entire playlist of, uh, of of videos about Agatha Christie and specifically about Hercule Poirot. I have done a review of every single one of those books and they are all spoiler free. If there's any spoilers ever in those, I think I do a pretty good job of telling you when that's gonna happen. So um, definitely feel free to go back and watch those. But yeah, I think that that will do it tears. Um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social medias if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!